How is everybody tonight? Woo! Oh, look at Comedy Cabana. 25 years of providing a platform for people to come up here and think they're a bunch of smart asses. You know? That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, everybody, this is my beautiful cousin, Penny Joe. Everybody say hi, Penny Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was raised in Florida. I'm from Virginia. She used to come up for the family reunions. Yeah. Tell them what we used to call our family reunion. No. Orgy. That's right. Yeah. 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 And, uh, that's your good friend, Bob. Hey, Bob, what's happening? You know, uh... Are you not eating tonight? Or what? Would you like some? You know, they brought on extra kitchen staff. You were here two weeks ago, you know? You need to pick it up, Bob. Pick it up. Hey, I want, I want you to take a look. So, what's that say right there, ma'am? Harvard? <laughs> University. <laughs> you believe that? A freaking Mitchell graduated from Harvard University? Of course, it's Penny Joe's son, you know? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm, I'm not talking about somebody that cleaned the building or picked up trash. He actually freaking graduated from Harvard. And, and why I'm wearing this is, I show up at Penny Joe's house this evening. It's true. I open my suitcase. I'm like, where's my freaking shirt at? I love my shirt in Virginia. So, thank you, Joe. And then I tell you what, wearing this, you know what I feel like? The scarecrow when he visited the wizard. <laughs> you know, I've got a brain. All right, you know. Hey, how are you doing? All right, you ever been with old man? <laughs> I was talking to the guy beside us. All right, everybody, let's get on. Everybody, pay no attention, man. Let's go. Let's go. I tell you what, it's hard being an old white man these days. I'm telling you, right? Right, Bob? I got, I got too many things trying to take me out of this world. You know, I got Corona. I got Antifa, heart disease, my freaking kids. It won't be long, it'll be icy sidewalks, you know? I swear I'm going wake to up, wake up dead one of these days. And this CDC, this Corona Delusional Center, and all their damn rules and regulations, you know what I mean? Uh, what are their rules and regulations? Oh, they came up with that new birth control, right? Social distancing. You know? You can't touch yourself. There goes my weekend. And I tell you what, if you want to cause some stress, walk in the bank without a mask on. You want to hear some people scream? Oh, Lord, help me. Help me. But it hadn't been that bad, right? It hadn't been that bad, you know? Uh, I work from home every day, so there's no uh, road rage. Didn't have to visit my family. Oh, man, you're talking about the stress release right there. And uh, I got my stimulus package. Bob, did you get your stimulus package? Twelve hundred bucks worth of Viagra. Thank you, Donald Trump, man. You the man, man. You the man. Oh yeah. How about you? Did you get your stimulus package? Hey. How about you, buddy? All right. Hell, we can't hear nothing wrong with that. Everybody's happy. Bless you your wife. You know? Hell yeah. Yeah. Look at my wife. Man. I've had a rough eight years. I've had a rough eight years. I've been in the LGL a lot. You know, not me, not me. I've been visiting my daughter, okay? And, uh, you know, but, you know, it's just, it's, it's hard. It's hard visiting. And when she takes these mini vacations, you know, I take care of my granddaughters. They're ages five and eight. And, you know, of course they have questions. Where's mommy? Where's mommy? And I'm like, well, mom's at the big house down in Richmond, okay? <laughs> but why? Why? Why is mommy down at the big house? Well, you know, the people down at the courthouse think that mom can do a whole lot of good down there and help people, right? And hopefully she'll quit smoking. So, uh, you know, that's what, that's what I'm hoping for. And then when I talk to her, you know what she says? She's always complaining about the food. The food sucks. The food sucks. You know what I'm thinking? Jail is the new Jenny Craig, right? There you go. There you go. So that's what I'm hoping for. A thinner, smokeless, parole-free dollar. You know? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the Virginia Department of Corrections. You know? Thank you. Thank you. So, uh... I love it. Love it. <laughs> 
But, uh, you know, she's out now. She's really doing good. You know, I had to brag on my daughter. She's really doing good. Uh, she's got a job. And she, it's a whole lot of travel involved. And she travels anywhere between the North and the South Pole. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Apparently, that's what bipolars do. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh... But, you know, I was, in the, I was taking a leak the other day and I heard, Hey, bring this cup. I'll give you 20 bucks. I turned around. It was my daughter. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Get out of here. A little bit of privacy, okay? But then I got to thinking about it. Cash flow. <laughs> so I went outside and I took my granddaughter's sign down, the lemonade sign down. I put up a sign that said, Clean pee, 20 bucks a cup. Uh, there you go. Express lane, 60 bucks a cup. <laughs> All day long. Drink a lemonade, pee in the cup. Drink a lemonade, pee in the cup. Sir, don't mix them cups up now, okay? <laughs> All right? You'd be drinking the pee, not the lemonade. And uh, I know, you know, everybody's like, oh, Lord, you know, you're enabling this behavior. How can you do that? You know, my neighbors are like, we don't want these drug addicts in our neighborhood. What the hell's wrong with you? The way I see it is, you hanging on? The way I see it is, is that, hey, I kept somebody's mom and dad out of jail, and my girls are at the mall every weekend. They love me. You know, I'm a hero. You know, they're spending that money. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's hard being a white man these days. It's hard being a white man. We got this young whippersnapper in the office, you know. I'm looking out here. I see some young whippersnappers out here, you know. Y'all think y'all all that, you know. It wasn't but a couple blinks of that, you know. This is dark, you know. And it was full. But uh, so he, he thought, you know, he's bragging on about running five miles a day, right? I'm like, you gonna die any fucking way? I mean, what the hell, you know? <laughs> so, uh, sorry about that, I didn't mean that. And uh, so, uh, he hollers over, hey, old man, when's the last time you were in? Well, I got to thinking about it, it had been a while, but man, I had this pain in my gut, and I knew I had to find the bathroom quick. So I busted into a sprint, about six strides into it, I pulled a damn muscle. <laughs> That's right, I shit all over myself. <laughs> but you know what I did? I knew right then that if it ever happened again, I'm just gonna shit myself. You know, because being an old white man, it takes a long time to get over a pulled muscle, but hell, I can take a shower in 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Trouble Commander. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Doug. Remember to take care of your servers tonight, okay? Thank you so much.